will never think about the cruelty of the Bible. The violence. We teach children with hand puppets and coloring books some of the bloody stories. And then tell them that all means we should love each other. That's what some would call a paradox. What does anyone who's knowing that kind of violence understand about love? When Samson tied 300 foxes together and lit them on fire. Killed a thousand men with a donkey jawbone. A thousand. eyes were put out. Of course, Samson was the lucky one. In the end, he didn't have to see the monster he became. A man can only see so much darkness before he goes blind. this? Oh, that's Bruce. Bruce. You know, they say food tastes different on the outside, Bruce. What you say? Shit, I don't know. I try not to eat prison food on the outside. Let's get the fuck out of here. Tara? Brad? What are you, a uh, produce manager now? Whatever needs to get done around here, manager. Fruit ain't gonna stock itself. Oh, I hear that. So, uh, did you hear about Morgan's baby? We got a call. She wanted to deliver it home. Kids started coming out. But it was breached. We tried to turn it around. Yeah, she pushed it through, though, but the head got caught up. Squish like an avocado. The baby's fine now, but it's got a big old dent. Kind of looks like the baby's got a little ashtray on its forehead. Brad. <laughs> well, why? You know, Morgan, I thought you'd want to. <laughs> you sure you don't want a bigger one of those? As for angles here, keeps parking the patrol car behind Sammy's <laughs> catnap. I told you I'm not napping, I'm meditating. 
Anyway, I was telling your daughter about Morgan's kid and how it looks like she's got a little baby ashtray on her face. That's great. <laughs> baby ashtray face. Perfect, right? Right? What? Listen, um, your mother's cooking dinner this Thursday. Be, be nice to see you there. Yep. Well, he's always welcome at the house. You know that. Yeah, I know. Honey, I just want you to be happy. Well, it's fine. Okay. Hey. Bye, Dad. So, uh... About one for the deputy. No? Okay. Bye, officers. You're home late. Yeah. Got caught up with Flynn's. Sal needed a lift again. Marlene, read him the riot act when you dropped him off. I did not stick around to hear that. <laughs> Work drops were half price, so I bought extra. Don't pour up on beer. What did you say? Mm. Come on, I got dinner tonight. Mm. Yeah. Our chaps are gonna be cold. Yeah.
You guys are pretty close with this Nick fella, huh? What? Three of us. We were gonna go down to Mexico. Buy us an orange grove. Sit around, drinking tequila. Fucking scenery as well. The greasers picked him for him. You know, Bruce. Uh. Things work out. You might be able to come with. Yeah. That'd be, uh. That'd be real special. You know, not that it matters. I mean, a job's a job. But, um... What happened? Oh, you know what they say about plans. Yeah. Shit happens. Forche? Good to put a face to the voice. You get it? About that. The uh, man you're looking for, he isn't the easiest fellow to find. You get my address? More or less. I got an address. But, uh, thing is, with travel expenses, Two grand's is not gonna cut it. We had a deal. That was the deal. I'm gonna need another two grand. Another two grand? Yeah. See, a man in prison pays you to find another man. Four grand just feels right. I think I'm well within my bounds to renegotiate. I don't got it. <clears throat> you look like a resourceful man. I'll wait. That's two thousand dollars. You take it. You give me that address. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna cut you a deal. All right? Ah! Oh, motherfucker! We oh. need a deal. Fuck! Oh. Give me the address. <laughs> give me. Marlene, man. 
What's that? Tuna. That's what that is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, every damn day, man. I ask for something different. What she give me? Tuna? It's like she's fucking with me, man. It's like Mexican tuna, Japanese tuna, American tuna. I don't know. Hey, Sal. Yeah. I got a shift open this weekend. Are you interested? No, man. Can't do it working on Jordan's cabin again. We got rained out. Right, right, yeah. Building Noah's Ark, right? Mm hmm. Enjoy that hunting trip. Oh, no. No, that's just work. I swear. All right. Don't be coming next week begging for a shift because you got rained out. You understand me? Yeah, boss. You take that shift if you want, man. I can work on the cabin myself. Make it 50 50. No, man. Five days a week in this place is enough for me. Besides, I'm gonna go hunting. Hey, man, that reminds me, John asked if he could come. What'd you tell him? No, I told him to fuck off, man. There's nothing for him in the truck. Seriously? Yeah, if we go hunting, I'm going to deal with him. Did you tell him about your gun? No. Why not? I owe money, man. So I'll see you tomorrow. Copy that. See you tomorrow. Make sure Sal pays you back some when you get paid for this job. Oh well. What? You. Sometimes I think your mind's a million miles away. Sure you're gonna be all right? Me being gone all weekend? Yeah, I'll be fine. I promise. Marlene might come over later, maybe watch a movie. She gets someone to watch the kids. You got um, Jordan's number, right? You need to get Nick, I've got it taken care of. I will be fine. Go, have fun. For the way up. Thanks, baby. You got no food? Just wasn't in the cooler. Well, if you get some time, bring him back full. All right. Now I better go get Sal before Marlene locks him in the house. <laughs> All right. Love you.
by Sunday or I won't be. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Make sure you pay attention when you're working. Uh -huh. You can't fix chairs if you're uh -huh. missing a finger. I know. I'm going to try not to poke an eye out either. Hey, you look at me. You're going to be super cool to your mom, right? Hmm. That's right. You help her out. Whatever she needs. You knew you're just you're perfect. Yeah, you're all right. Mm. Mm -hmm. Feed her this time. Uh, yeah, I'll make sure to do that. Okay. All right. Bye. I love you. See you Sunday. Hmm. Make sure he stays out of trouble, Nick. Will do. Bye. serve your kind here. Oh yeah, what's that? Smart, handsome men? <laughs> you got the men part right. Let's go, buddy. <laughs> How's my cabin coming? I don't know. I guess we'll see it when we get up there. How's it hanging, Sal? South. <laughs> As always, man. Just don't get up like you used to. Yeah, I hear you. What are you ladies drinking? Well, anything cold. I want a house. You're here. Appreciate it. How's Tara doing? Yeah, she's, uh, she's doing all right. Keeping busy. How you doing? I'm all right. You still got a phone back there? Yeah, come on back. Tell Tara I said hello. Will do. Just, uh, just got to Jordan's. We're about to head out to the cabin in a little bit. Not sure where you are, I mean. Nick. Tara? Hey, sorry. I was in the shower. I heard the machine cut on. Sorry. Right. Yeah, we just made it out here a little bit ago. Just sitting at Jordan's. Having a couple. Mm hmm. Having a couple. Be careful in the dark. Especially on those roads. I will. You eat dinner yet? Yeah. Finish the quiche. Oh, uh... Jordan says hi. That's sweet. You tell him I said hi back. Yeah, I will. What was that? Oh, I'm making a pie. Okay. In case Marlene comes by. Speak of the devil. I gotta go. All right. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. I'm coming. Hold on a goddamn moment, Marlene. Hey, man, she left you yet? You tell her I said hello? Yep. She said hi back. You tell her I said hi? Hell no.
What? <laughs> hey, man, you think I wouldn't have to ask, you know? You just tell me. This shit, man? That's a big motherfucker, man. Looks like it hurt. Big ass scar. Fell down. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Man. Hey, um, I'm serious, though, man. I'm... I was just hanging out with the wrong guys for a while. It was sort of like a... I don't know what you call it. Didn't add up to anything good, that's for sure. The fuck kind of answer is that, man? My dad and Jordan went back quite a ways, and he's the one that introduced me to Junior. I figured it was better to... Start new somewhere where I knew a couple people. And I'm at Terra. That was it. That sealed the deal. You married right with that one, man. I mean, at least your father in law can get you out of tickets. Mine just kicks me in the teeth. Yeah, well, we got something in common on that one. Well, yeah. I got one too, you know? So. Check that out. Look at that right there. Oh shit, where'd you pick that up? Marlene. Marlene? I just, that was uh, her ex-husband. I mean, technically it was her husband at the time. Wait, so you broke up a marriage? No, 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 wait a minute. Wasn't like that, man. She had one foot out of the door already. I mean, she came in the upholstery store, asked to have the recliner done. She was just radiating that energy she has, man. I was done, man. Took one look at it. That was it. And of course, now I think about it, getting her pregnant before she was divorced probably sped some things up a little bit, but... <laughs> he didn't take too kindly to that, and he came in and hit me in the head of a tire iron one day. Yeah, yeah, I was out for 20 minutes. Woke up, got 15 stitches, and... Oh, shit. I mean, I don't really remember much, but it's kind of fucked up, you ask me. <laughs> Marlene and I got married a few weeks later. And she's been around ever since. What happened to the husband? He went inside for about four months. Got married in prison, actually. So I don't feel too bad. Hey, man. Hey, just to find the one that'll fuck you rotten and then cook your breakfast afterwards. She fucks you rotten, huh? No, not really, man. But 102 ain't better.
Afternoon. How's it coming? We're gonna need another weekend at it, but it's coming along. What you got there? Popped a couple does. I thought you might want to smoke some. Oh, man. Speaking of my soul now. Hey, uh, can I use your phone again? Yeah, of course. Let's hit the road. Yeah. I just called your place. Nobody answered. No? Nobody? She usually gives him a bath right about now. Who knows? Maybe she's drowning him. Might have finally cracked. Nick. Fuck! Put it down. I shot me! Fuck! 
He did. Ah. Uh, Put it down. Put it down, Nick. Uh, fuck. Uh, she drew on us first, Nick. It's truth. Let's take a load off, son. It is so good to see you, Nick. I got a question for you, though. You got any ice cream? Hmm? I mean, initially, when we came in, the little lady, the, the missus was making a pie. We, we got it back in the fridge. Doesn't that sound normal? <laughs> pie and ice cream? Yeah. You wouldn't happen to have any butter pecan, would you? Nick? Go see if he's got any ice cream. Seriously? I'm fucking bleeding out here. I gotta get this looked at. What you think you were gonna do? You were gonna put on a mask and, 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 and make believe you were normal? Hmm? I'm gonna catch up to you? You killed her the minute you put that ring on her little finger. It's kind of ironic, isn't it, Charlie? That's what I call it, yeah. Nicholas, we're the only family you got. We're the only ones who will ever understand you for what you are. We were a fucking family. And you tried to kill us. It's actually pretty funny. It actually had better be kind. Hey, hey, Bruce. Shut up. When we first showed up, and we were here for what, two days? We were here talking, talking about, about the weather, about all kinds of shit with the little lady with Tara. Tara is her name, right? Was her name. Man, she, you, you should have seen her. She wouldn't shut the fuck up, man. She was asking us all kinds of questions. Real inquisitive. And then she told us about the money. Imagine that. She told us that you said that you, uh, you inherited the money. <laughs> yeah, who the fuck is leaving you any money? Who does that to their wife? Who lies to their wife like that? What kind of man does that, Nick? Did you use our money to buy this place, Nick? Because that's what she told us. Shit. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter anymore. You should have just fucking come to it. Hey! God damn it, Bruce! Fucking lunged at him! He lunged at you. Nick. Oh, fuck. Nick. Nick, 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 Nick. Ooh. what they call closure. <laughs> Nick. 
back. I'm sorry. struggle. How long have I been here? I always knew you were trouble, Nick. I shouldn't have left. Stay away from my daughter. But you did. Told her not 
to marry you, but she did. Said, I didn't know you like she did. I knew exactly what you were, didn't I? Now I'm sitting here wondering why I shouldn't take my gun. Just who do you think did this? Don't push me, Nick. Uh, yeah, let me go. You think I would do something like this? Sal. The coroner told me that she'd been dead for two days. I know you didn't pull the trigger, but you know who did, don't you? Where are you going? I can't be here right now. You let me know the second he wakes up. Sure, Brad. Right. I'll be back in a few. But for now, you just watch him like a fucking hawk.
Well, look at that. He's awake. Uh, How's your chest? Hurts, don't it? Don't you mind? <laughs> what? Thirsty. Okay. Hey, you alright? Nick. Nick. Hey. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Nick? Oh, what the fuck? Nick? What the fuck happened to you, man? Where you been? 
had me at the hospital. In the hospital? Oh, man, I, I went there and... Cops said you weren't there, man. You all right? Oh, shit, man. I'm so sorry. I heard about Tara. What'd you hear? People been trying to say that you killed her, man, but I, I know that's bullshit, man. Hey, look at me. I know that's bullshit. You know who did it? Here, I need your help. All right. I need you to help me hide this car, and I need to borrow your van. Yeah, yeah, anything you need, man. Well, but I'm gonna go with you. No, I can't let you do that, Sal. I can't let you get involved with this. I'm already involved here. You're asking me to hide a police car in my yard. No. Look at you, man. I'm not letting you do this alone. So you want to stop talking about it and go do this thing? I don't like this, Sal. I don't like this one bit. Just remember what to say if they come asking. I don't think you should do this. You do the same thing for us, okay? I'm really sorry, Nick. Leave the light on for us. Don't get yourself in trouble, Sal. Sorry, Frank. God damn it! You get back over to his house. You arrest anybody who comes within 50 yards of that place. And you radio me right away if you do. You got that? Yes, sir. Try that place off 90? Yeah. Yeah.
Hold on a minute. May I help you? I'm looking for someone. Someone? Three men. They would have stayed here over the weekend. Driving a green Cadillac. They would have paid in cash. He stayed in room 102. Who'd you say you were? Brad Ingalls. Sheriff's Department. All right, let me check real fast. 102. Ford. Walter Ford. That's the name he gave me. They still here? They were here a few nights. They came and went a few times. They left this afternoon. You ran out that room yet? Nope. Let me in that room. What are we looking for, man? This is Parson. Received a 911 call from the Highway Host Motel. Called to drop, but the line is still live. 10 4. On my way.
Biddy called around seven. He signed of the van? Uh, Lab said they want to be able to pull the prints for a couple weeks off the caddy. What about the boys in Colton County? Nothing. Nothing. How's the nose? That's... It's fine. How you doing? doing coffee's been on for about an hour sheriff's department Frank, you got a call on line one. I think you might want to pick this up. This is Frank. I'm on my way.
deserve that much at least.
Watch me for a second, son! Don't disappoint me, boy! <laughs> you got me! Talk to me! Tell me that! Just talk to me! Justice isn't yours to serve. This ain't the wild neck. You should have let the law handle it. The law wouldn't do what I did. The law's only thing that keeps us from being savages. Like I said, I can't go to prison, so you do whatever you gotta do. served this town for 30 years. That my blood is in this dirt. And in all that time, I only ever did one bad thing. If you want to 
call it that. Maybe that's entitlement. Maybe not. Whatever it is, though, it's a choice I can live with. Imagine if they let Samson go instead of shackling him to the temple. It may have been a different outcome altogether. Imagine that.